Two Chinese military aircraft and several Navy ships have been sent to the southern Indian Ocean to help in the search for Malaysian Airlines Flight 370. But their presence in these waters have put them in an area they're not usually welcome in. Well, joining me now is Jessica Trisco darden She's with Western University, joining us now from Washington, D.C. Okay, Jessica, obviously the focus of uh, the Chinese military is to find um, parts of the plane in the, the southern Indian Ocean. After all, the country did have 153 citizens on board, but does the fact that they're even there create an awkwardness in terms of geopolitics? I think the Chinese government's concern with its citizens is very understandable. But what concerns countries in the region is one, China's late involvement in the search. And of course, many of these countries that have been participating in the search effort, over 20 countries in total, have ongoing territorial disputes with China that remain a point of contention. Okay, and of course we did um, hear that India had actually flat out denied um, Chinese vessels to, patro to go into areas in the Andaman Sea. So is it understandable that some of these countries just don't want uh, Chinese military around? Yes, I think India's refusal is very understandable in the sense that India had an ongoing search in the region even after the broader search effort was directed towards the southern Indian Ocean. It kept off its efforts in the Andaman Sea. So China's request to enter these waters came not only late, but when all evidence was pointing that no wreckage was to be found in that area. So from the Indian perspective, they not only operate a military outpost in the Andaman Sea, it's also positioned to monitor the Malacca Strait. And these are waters that uh, India and China have kind of ongoing concerns over. So I believe the Indian Navy's refusal to allow China to operate in that area is reflective of broader tensions between India and China, but also China's lack of coordination with the broader search efforts. Okay, and what about in terms of training the satellites? I mean, a lot is focused on the satellites and how much information you can ex extract from that. Um, the fact that, you know, the Chinese perhaps are, are getting satellite information, I mean, is that, uh, is that likely to worry anyone? I don't think it would worry anyone. I mean, many countries are aware that China has a satellite uh, arsenal and is engaged in this sort of monitoring, as are many other countries. I think what's of greater concern is the degree to which information has been shared or withheld throughout the duration of this search. So China was attempting to verify some sightings by Australia. It's unclear whether the Australian-led search accepted uh, China's satellite photo finds firsthand. We know that China had sent out earlier satellite photos uh, centered on the Gulf of Thailand, which proved to be false. It, it stated that it was a false release of information. So I think the more recent satellite photos are held uh, with that in mind. We're not really sure what's being captured, but all of the countries involved in the search are taking uh, the most important steps of verifying this information. Okay, Jessica Trisco-Darden, thanks for joining us.